Hey everyone, I'm Vineet and I'm a certified ethical hacker. On this channel, I'll be pulling back the curtain on the world of cybersecurity, debunking myths, and showing you how everything works. Open Google and search for SE Toolkit. This is an open source tool and is used for social engineering. And now open the GitHub page. Here you can see the green button. Just click on the button and then click on copy URL to clipboard. Now open the terminal and type the command. sudo git clone and paste the copied URL using Ctrl plus Shift plus V and hit Enter. Just wait and let it finish the process. Type the command ls to list out the contents. Now use command cd and the directory name to move into it. Once again type ls. Now type sudo se toolkit and hit enter. For social engineering attacks type 1 and hit enter. For website attack vectors type 2 and hit enter. For credential harvesting type 3 and hit enter. Now for cloning web page type 2 and hit enter. Now type your host IP address. In my case it's 192.168.223.230, which is my private IP, and hit enter. Now enter the URL of web page which you want to use. Here this tool can clone any web page available on the internet. Visit the web page and just copy the entire URL field. In my case I'm using Vulnweb's login page for the demonstration purpose. and paste the URL and hit enter. Now we are ready to share the link. Which is your IP address? Assuming that the victim has opened the link which we shared with him. Here you will notice that the page looks exactly the same as what we saw earlier but the main difference is in the URL field. Pause the video and compare it with the previous one. When the victim tries to log in using his credentials. Here for the demonstration purpose I have entered username as admin and password as password at 123 as the credentials and then click on login. Here notice that when I clicked on login, the web page started loading but we didn't got logged in. It seems like the page just got reloaded, but notice the URL field. You can see that it has changed and now it's the original URL. Now it's time to check our terminal. Yup, we can see some entries. And look here, what I found. Username equals admin and pass equals password at 123, which we used for this tutorial. So finally we have captured the credentials which seems to be quite unbelievable. With this we came to an end of our quick tutorial. Now the question comes to our mind. How to be safe? For that here are some checks you must follow. Pause the video and go through them carefully.